Hey guys, welcome to our video series where we talk about the songs we've recorded over the years and the stories behind them. This is Stories and Songs. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. Oh, there ain't no mountain high enough. All the angels singing praises to the great I love. It's the ties that bind and leave behind a legacy of love. Hey, if you want to keep up to date with the videos that we're putting out and other things we're doing, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. You can also go to davidphelps.com and find out all of our social media tags and, and also about the YouTube channel as well there. So today we thought we'd talk about End of the Beginning. We've had requests to talk about that. And uh, that's a really special song for me. We recorded it on what we always, always refer to as the Blue Record. It was my self-titled project. Uh, very early on and also on that project was my child is coming home let the glory come down no more night uh, and just songs that have meant a lot to me for a lot of years so I wrote end of the beginning after um, I had been on the road and I was flying back home I was exhausted as you know we often are had an early flight home uh, my rule is I always try to leave as late as I can and get back as early, as quickly as I can you know so Early flight home, and I was sitting uh, uh, there on the plane. I was watching people get on the plane, and um, I remember thinking that morning, what has brought those people into my life at this moment? Where have they come from? And uh, how do they view the world? And I, just, I was just kind of in that moment of just kind of uh, thinking about um, what was inside their mind and, uh, and, and their lives. Uh, going back a little bit, I, I often get up in the mornings and I uh, come up with melodies and chord progressions uh, for songs that uh, I think might have some life to them and I'll record those. And at the same time I have a hook book um, that I will write down hooks that I think are very interesting that I think I could uh, uh, wrap uh, a message uh, around. And so I had this end of the beginning uh, hook in my book for about four years and um, I had tried to write a song and every time I tried to write it it turned out to be negative and I just was bound and determined it was not going to be a negative song and um, you know you can see how the the title could lend itself the end of the beginning you know and um, so I just kept I just kept you know scrapping it and starting over and then I got home this more that morning after flying on the plane and things just kind of gelled for me. And I sat down at the piano. Um, Lori, we were homeschooling at the kids uh, at the time. We were homeschooling the kids at the time. And, and Lori was doing that. And before I even walked into the rest of the house, I sat down at the piano. And in half an hour, I had the song written. And um, what I've always loved about this song, there's a couple of things. One is that uh, the chorus is basically the message of salvation, you know? Um, and uh, I get to say that over and over again in, in the song. And um, the other thing is that, um, it's kind of the answer to a question that a lot of people have asked me over the years because it's a story song about me sitting, about this guy sitting next to a, another guy on the plane and he, the one guy has his Bible and he says, you know, what are you reading? And it opens up this big conversation and allows him to tell him about uh, his Savior, Jesus. And so um, a lot of people have asked me over the years, so what, what did that, that guy decide? Did it, did, you know, what was the answer there? Because at the end, it kind of leaves it open in the song. I said, well, that's the whole point, is that our great commission is to go and tell. And sometimes we don't get to see the answer. Sometimes we don't get to hear about it, but we just have to be obedient and go and live out Jesus in front of people and talk about him when we get a chance to. And um, uh, then the Holy Spirit draws people, draws people to Him and uh, whom, to Himself. So, so that is uh, that's always been kind of a um, a question that people have asked. I have got so many great songs around this song, around so many great stories around this song. Um, two of which were at Carnegie Hall. My very first time to record this was on a video at Carnegie Hall. 
and it was on April Fool's Day. I have always pulled April Fool's pranks on my mom. And so uh, the night before I was going to record, I called my mom and she was at a restaurant with her friends and I said, Mom, are you, are you sitting down? And she was like, what is it? What is it? You know, she, she kind of got panicked. And I said, I'm up here in New York. And you know, I'm recording End of the Beginning tomorrow. It's a song that I wrote here in Carnegie Hall. I'm so thrilled about it. But I, I, I'm on the third floor here, and they have these crazy windows. And I went to open it, and I slipped, and I fell out, and I broke both my legs on the concrete sidewalk below. And I... I'm in casts from the, from the waist down, and I don't know what I'm going to do. And mom was just like, you could, you could hear her get up and exit the restaurant. She said, it's okay, it's okay. You can sit on a stool, and you can sing. It's going to be wonderful. And I said, I said, well, I've really got to go. I've got to take some more medicine. And, and don't forget that it's April Fool's Day, you know. So, and then she, the last thing I heard was, David, you know, which I've, I've heard a lot over the years. But, um. Oh, there's that. And then uh, I, later on, I sang uh, Into the Beginning in Carnegie Hall, and I completely forgot the words to one of my songs, you know. And people that travel with me know that that happens every once in a while. You know, you get those moments where you're like, I wrote this, and I can't remember the words to it. So, um, but it's been one of those songs that has been so special and uh, I have gotten to sing night after night, and it's meant so much to people that uh, it's been such a blessing to me. I hope you enjoy this at the Alabama Theater in Birmingham. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. You see, He was with God in the beginning. But then... The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Day, just wishing that I could get out When the man next to me saw the book in my hand And asked me what it was about So I settled back in my seat A bestseller, I said A history and mystery in one and Then I opened up the book and began to read From Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John Yeah He was born of a virgin One holy night In the little town of Bethlehem Angels gathered round him underneath the stars Singing praises to the great I am He walked on the water, healed the lame And made the blind to see again And for the first time here on earth We learned that God could be a friend And though he never ever did a single thing wrong The angry crowd chose him And then he walked on the road and died on the cross And that was the end of the Beginning, yeah. Yeah. That's not a new book, that's a Bible, he said, and I've heard it all before. I've tried religion, it's shame and guilt, and I don't need it anymore. It's superstition, made up tales, I'm just to help the weak to survive. Oh, let me read it again, I said, but listen closely, this is gonna change your life. He was born of a virgin one holy night in the little town of Bethlehem. Angels gather round him underneath the stars, singing praises to the great I am. He walked on the water, healed the lame, and made the blind to see again. And for the first time here on earth, we learned that God could be afraid. Crowd chose him, and then he walked on the
there be he's dead you said they hung him and put nails in his hands and a crown of thorns on his head I said I'll read it again oh but this time there's more and I believe that this is true his death wasn't the end but the beginning of a life that's completed in you don't you see he did all this for you Bethlehem, all the angels singing, praises to the great I am, who walked on the water, healed the lame, and made the blind to see, did you know that God could be a friend, and no, he never did a single thing wrong, he was the one the crowd chose, and then he walked, and he died. Beginning